Okay, so I'm out here in my backyard, and you see that deer there just hanging out. But that's not the reason I'm out here in my backyard. The reason I'm out here is because uh, my cat decided it needed its freedom. So I bought it a flea collar and sent him outside on his merry way. He thought it would be nice to be outside. First day he came home, not a problem. Yesterday was a terrible rainstorm, and he didn't come home. So I figured, all right, he's hiding underneath something. And so this morning I'm calling his name, calling his name, and I figure, okay, well, where could he be? So I walk down here to take out the garbage, you bring it to the front, and I start calling the name, just like this. Rosio! 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 And I don't know if you can hear it, but I heard a tiny little meow. So I start walking here into my neighbor across the way's yard to see if I could follow the sound and find my cat who, you know, apparently thinks he knows better and uh, wants to hang out in the outside world. But then again, he is my cat. So, I mean, that would make sense, you know, wanting to be an adventurer. So I go to look and where could Rosio be? But up there in the tree. See that pathetic little meow? All right, Rosio. Rosio, you got to come down. Come on. I left you alone for a while. Maybe now you'll figure out a way to get down. Now, cats apparently are not very good at climbing backwards or forwards down the tree. Come on, Rosio. Come on. Now, he wants to get down. He just quite can't figure out how. Rosio, come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, well, I may have to wind up calling the uh, department here. Okay. Frank Apple with an adventure at home trying to figure out how to get a cat out of the tree. Give you an update later.